part defense okay as everyone can see on the field we have a poly spot at the five yard line because that's where we're going to start the possession of the ball every field will have a poly spot that way after the play say we don't gain any yards we know exactly where we're going back to that's basically the line of scrimmage you can use a snow cone they have little cones uh, stuff like that okay the other orange cone that you see out there is actually seven yards away that is your rush line. That's why I said it's important not to let me mix up run and rush, okay? That's called your rush line. If you plan on rushing on defense, you have to be behind that line, okay? If you're not rushing, you're allowed to be in front of that line. So don't, don't think that that's the line of scrimmage. My whole defense has to be behind that. The only person that has to be behind that is the person that's rushing, the quarterback, okay? If I hand the ball off on offense, anyone can run and get the get the guy with the ball or the girl with the ball. Does that make sense? I can cross that line of scrimmage on defense as long as it's a handoff. If the quarterback runs to the left, runs to the right, to the right, the only person that can cross that line of scrimmage is the person who started behind the rush line. Is that clear? Clear as mud. Wow. Yes. If you're behind the rush line to start, anywhere between the 25 yards across, you can stand way over in this corner and try and hide, but then you're going to run 25 yards to get to the quarterback. All right? But if you stand right behind, you don't have to stand directly behind the cone. That was a question also. You do not have to be directly behind the cone. You can be anywhere on that 25 yards as long as you're behind the cone to rush. You can, you can rush all seven of your people if you want. Five. Sorry. All five, five of your people. Nursa seven. Yeah, that's sorry. That's the, that's the one difference between Nursa, and, and I'll get into that a little bit. Well, no, I'll just say it now. Nursa officials are the officials to go with if you're looking for officials to officiate your game. That was a lot of officials. Okay? Don't get IHSA officials because the games are two completely different games. Um, try to... Uh, look online, you can usually find an intramural program at a local college or something. Get those people out um, because their game is the most similar to ours rather than IHSA officials. You would rather get NURSA officials. And SIU has about 150 of them um, with their uh, rec, rec sports program through the rec center. So if you ever need NURSA officials, SIU, Shane Bennett, just call me, I'll get it. Okay, so back to the rush line. Like I said, you can put all five people behind that line and all five of them can rush. I wouldn't suggest that. Um, I would always have someone on the line of scrimmage because that's seven yards back. If I hand the ball off quickly to Lucas, he's going to be at the line of scrimmage before you even, you know, before you get to the line of scrimmage to, to do a move or whatever. Right? Uh, so like I said, the one person has to be behind the line. The big thing uh, that they talked about, so if I'm behind the line, and the quarterback does a hut hut hike and I run past and the ball wasn't snapped yet, I can run back and cross that line and then go. Even if they snap the ball, I still have to go back before I can go forward. You have to start when the ball snapped and be behind that line before you go forward. We actually talked to um, a couple of the coaches in Indiana. Theirs is only five yards. Um, Sona just came out with new rules and they're seven yards. Theirs were only five yards. And the coach said that he actually wouldn't uh, wouldn't rush if it was seven yards back because it's so far to get to the quarterback. I don't 100% agree with that because a lot of teams are going to play man to man, so that rusher would just be the guy who is guarding the quarterback. I always feel like you need to put a little bit of pressure on the quarterback because it's easy and I think anyone can basically drop back. And if no one's guarding me, I can just stand there and hold the ball and then everybody else just keeps running for half an hour and then someone gets open and then you go, oh, okay, you're open. All right, so I would always kind of put a rush on them, but the guy said that he actually wouldn't rush if they moved it back to seven because it was so far to get to the quarterback. Okay. Any questions with the rush line? So if you go past the line, you can still rush, or you have to play and go back to the You just have to make sure you go back behind the line after the snap. So if you jump what would be off sides, but, you, but you're not really off sides because you're seven yards off, you just have to make sure you run back behind the cone and then run forward. But you have to the line of scrimmage. 
After the, the ball crosses the line of scrimmage, anyone can go and run. Right? After anyone, so if I'm five yards back and I hand the ball off to someone, even if you were on the line of scrimmage as a defense, you can come and get me then. It's fair game as long as the quarterback does not have the ball. Anyone can rush. Anyone can go and get that ball. Okay? Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Um, and remember, the quarterback cannot run. Okay, so that's a big thing too. A lot of times um, that quarterback can fake you out and try to run up to the line of scrimmage. As a defense, I'd go, keep coming, buddy, right? Because th once they cross that line, it's a penalty on them, okay? And you can't cross the line unless you're one of the rushers that's behind the line to start. And you don't have to start behind the cone anywhere across the line, okay? Flag pulling. Um, it's only legal when the person has the ball. Okay, so I can't run up to Lucas, pull his flag, and then, you know, go away, right? He has to have the ball for me to legally pull his flag. You can be called for a penalty if I would just run up and grab Lucas's flag, okay? Um, but that brings it to if Lucas's flag inadvertently falls off, meaning he's running and it just falls off, it doesn't mean Lucas is, is a dead player. It means that wherever he catches the ball, that's where it's dead. Okay, so he can still run all the way down to the end zone. We throw him the ball and he catches it in the end zone. It's still a touchdown. Okay, but if he catches at the five yard line, he's wide open, he can't run in, he's down wherever he caught it because he doesn't have a flag to be pulled off. Okay, so don't tell your players to stop and grab their flag and put it back on. Just tell them to continue the play wherever they grab it, they're down. Okay.